Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, as always, just want to say a, a big thank you to all the friends of the channel and anybody who supports in their own way, you know, um, you know, watches the videos, enjoys the content, subscribes, uh, comments on the videos, you know, it, it's greatly appreciated. Um, for this one, I just thought I'd do an unboxing. I'm, I'm really up against it with time this weekend and, uh, yeah, I, I did spend... A fair few hours, probably five hours yesterday, foiling that, um, foiling the 63 um, box art build, and I got that clear coated so I can leave that dry for a, for a couple of days now, and then flat and polish it and what have you. But yeah, like I say, I thought just uh, we'll just do a simple unboxing video. You know, it'll probably go on for bang on for half an hour as usual. But um, yeah, I thought I'd pick out this one. Uh, the 65 Chrysler Imperial. It's this one was a, a Grail kit for many many years, and then uh, two fell into my lap within within weeks. Um, both from the same seller. They were just a seller. Um, I think it was a relative who uh, who was selling off uh, selling off uh, somebody's collection and what have you, but. You know, I think, uh, yeah, like I say, this was, it took me many, many years to, to find this kit in the UK. It's uh, certainly not a, certainly not a one which comes up available very often. There was a 66 for sale um, a few weeks back, um, which is pretty much the same kit. But you, it, it just went a little bit out of my budget, I mean. It wasn't a bad price to be fair and you know had the old back end cut out but you know I think uh, which would have saved me saved me doing it myself on one of these but yeah it's like I say it's um I think what appealed to me on this one always loved the imperial body style and I was always a massive fun, fan of customs when I was when I was younger as I am still today and you know the, the pickup conversion really really piqued my interest but yeah, I mean, it's just a like I say. I mean, sixty six. They did a they they reissued it. Like I say, just with a, a, a few updates and what have you. But it's pretty like I say, pretty much the same kit. And I, I don't think the box art was quite as nice, even though it's very similar. They used the they used the, the the same kind of picture on on the box box art for that one with the pickup, but. Yeah, it's uh, like I say, you get plenty of plenty of stuff in this. Um, yeah, you get two interiors and what have you, and yeah, that's the the box end, and yeah, it always looks good on the shelf. Does this one? Um, or the or you can build the stock version. I think it was stock custom pickup on in this one. Obviously, no race version for an imperial, but yeah, just really really pretty box, you know. Um, and this is the one we're going to be unboxing in this video. They also did the 65 hardtop, um, which is again pretty much the same kit as as the as a convertible, except it didn't have any of the pickup stuff in it. But yeah, I mean it's it's all the all the same stuff in that. So I, I thought it'd be nice just to show this show this box in here. I think the reason I'm going for that one is it just has quite a few bits, quite a few few more bits in it to, to have a look at and what have you but yeah again that was that's yeah another another one which took me a while to 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 get but um and boxing too bad on this one you know but but yeah you get the same front end rear end it's just obviously the hard top and what have you but yeah I don't think they showed you the full custom version on this on on this one I think they were more concentrating on the pickup but so yeah, like I say, they changed both to 65. Um, the tooling got changed to 66, which wasn't a massive, a massive change to be quite fair. But you know that 66 uh, convertible got changed into this one. Um, still had all the pickup stuff, you know, from the, is from the, they did also the body quite a bit on this one and. They altered the grill. I mean, we will have a look at this body because it's um, it's got some quite unique features. But we're not going to. They are the same kit pretty much. But 
Yeah, it's just one of them. It's you, you, you really don't know what happened to the tooling. If, if the tooling is still around because 67, Joanne took the Imperial brand. Um, they started, uh, you know, they'd, they'd already got a, a great portion of the, of the Chrysler products for, for their kit stuff. I think KMT really, I think AMT from the early 60s to the, sort of mid 60s they had the um smaller compact chrysler products like the valiants and and other things and um but joanne always had the the i would say the mid-sized cars you know the yeah the furies and the um and the the 300s and stuff like that and but yeah the the, the imperial went to to joanne in 67 so, so yeah, it's just what happened to the what happened to the tooling. Was it too badly damaged? Did they just get rid of it back in the cola, or is it still hanging about? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, but what we'll do is we'll get all the bits out for this one, lay them on the table. We'll be concentrating on this one, but we will, like, say I, I do want to show this body and what have you because my original idea when I bought both of these together was I build out of stock build that as the pickup but they're both mint kits and once i started looking how unique this body was it just break me out to to start tampering with it so i think you know and ever since i bought these a few years back i've been searching for uh, a couple of bodies i mean all i need is um a couple of bodies uh even just one body with um you know a good windshield frame the rest of it i, I don't need i don't wouldn't need the front or rear ends or you know, I think the the body in the hood is the the only bits I'd need. You know, I could do my own do my own chassis, and you, you get a separate interior. But yeah, we'll get this um, laid out on the table, and we'll have a better look at it. So we'll see you in a second. Right then, with all the parts laid on the table, we can just start having a having a bit of a look at this one and seeing what was included. Um, wasn't a hugely option kit like but you know there's some interesting parts in there and again if you you're looking for any of these bits that swap meets you know you, you can know what to look for if you you want it to get quite a unique pickup uh out of something i mean you could probably use some of the parts on other kits and what have you but yeah we'll start by looking at it in the instructions you just got the box out uh Put on to the to the front of the instructions it came with the um with the, the wood veneer or wood sticker so to speak just for the for the uh pickup interior tub some decals on there which you know they aren't actually they aren't actually cracked or anything so maybe with a clear coat you may be lucky but it's, it's never something i'll i'll do them with do with um you know it's I'd, I'd, I wouldn't even bother trying to, to try and reuse them, but yeah, it's just your basic AMT. Just your basic AMT sort of layout. Um, you know, it shows you the, the stock stock interior tub plus your, your custom interior tub. You know, just your two assemblies and what have you, and where you, where you have to cut out the, the rear portion of the... Um, rear portion of the body um to to make the pickup and hence why i don't really want to start cutting up a, a a pretty much relatively mint kit like so like say i'll i'll keep my eyes out for a builder and once i find a builder i'll i'll definitely get two kits out of this and we'll build them on the channel like but and that's the only reason i keep kits like this in mint condition it's just until i find something else until i can so i can use up as many parts out of the kit as possible and then i've not got a load of loose parts in the, in the box or bag parts in the box which probably take me years to to um to find something else but yeah it's just like say just your basic stock and custom custom stuff and it was, it was really highlighting the pickup options on this and what have you but yeah so really not a great deal seeing there to be quite honest with you but um 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll go straight on to the to the to the uh, plastic parts. You know, you got your your Chrysler engine there, your car support, your firewall, um, your uh, suspension blocks, and what have you for the chassis. Just general engine bits, to be quite fair, you know. It's but you know, this is a a pretty much a, a mint kit. Most of the parts are still on the sprue. I think we've got a, a a couple of rogue ones which had fallen off in time. But there you got your quirky custom dash. Um yeah that that would look good in pretty much any any custom you build to be quite honest with you, quite quite unique and what have you. But just more of your your engine parts and what have you and I think um I'm assuming those are headrests again should have paid more attention to the instructions but I'm on a Bit of a time crunch today, I'm afraid. Um, and just your your custom rear balance for for the back of there. I mean, it looks a, a little bit gaudy, to be quite honest. You certainly need that rear bumper to to lighten that off a little bit. But you know, I, I would definitely use that on a builder. So you know, and you'd end up with quite. A, it, it will all work together, and like I say that that. Rear bumper's quite an important part to take the weights off that one. Uh, just your, your stock hood. Um, stock hood, stock bench seat, uh, your seat belts and your lap belt, so to speak. And then a, yeah, quite quite big lap belts, actually, for, for a 125th. But, um, yeah, and just your retainers for your for your interior tubs to mount to the body and again like I say we've got a few bits a few of the engine parts just uh just falling off the off the sprue but you know there wasn't much to be quite fair you know four bits off the sprue isn't too bad on a on a kit this age you know I think it's what 58 years old now this kit's uh but like I say, it's definitely been one of my favourites and I will want to build it one day, so I'm afraid uh, this one will end up not being mint anymore, you know. It'll be a case of how to devalue your kit pretty much instantaneously, but yeah, that's your, your custom pickup roof. And I think that'll make quite a, quite a nice little... Quite a nice little custom will that frames uh good and solid on that but yeah i mean that that's your basis for your pickup you know once you we'll have a look at the body in a, in a second but you know once you've cut off all the your boot lid you know you can you can make that full conversion and it, it's not they, they made it really easy for you uh, this is the pickup interior tub yeah, quite nice, quite nice detail in there. I mean, I don't know if we were going to pick it up on the camera, but you know, it's really nicely engraved in there. And I wouldn't say it's a, a wood texture; it's more like a, you know, like a, a cargo area liner in sort of finish on it, uh, speckled finish, and with the, the ribbed in there, but ribs in there. But you could probably. Foil all them, I mean, it'll be a, an absolute pain to, to foil all them slats in there, but I think it, it'd really bring out the model once you did that, and unfortunately seats are, are moulded straight into into the interior tub, but yeah, that, even that bit's still on the spruce. Uh, but we'll have a look at the chrome. Um, so that's your, your custom front end. There's no roll pan on this one. They use another. They use another um, chrome piece, which I'll show you in a second to, to finish off that front end. But yeah, we've got the custom steering wheel, uh, headers, you know, cylinder heads and what have you, and uh, valve cover, uh, valve covers and whatever those are. Some kind of bullets, uh, probably custom pieces and what have you, but. Yeah, I think uh, I think I was quite lucky on this one to to get everything so absolutely pristine on it, and chrome's really good as well. So that's the, the smaller of the two chrome trees. 
And then you've got your really nice, um, really nice front grille. And that's why I'm, I'm looking for a builder. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not particularly after one which has any of the stock parts or anything because the problem with that is that there's such nice grills on these. You know, you, you get a build with one on, and you know, you'd want to build it with that grill on it. That's the uh, the custom front bumper, um, like I say, which which finishes off that um, front end under the grill. I mean, you could probably. I mean, if, if I was to build this as a, as the custom, I'd probably mould that in and paint it body colour, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I think you'd get probably get a bit of a better look out of it. But... And then you just you got your custom wheels and um, your stock wheels, which are really nicely, really nicely detailed on there. Um, you got your stock rear bumper. The license plate moulded into the recess. But there's some really nice fine detail in, in, in between there. And these don't need re chroming at all, you know, you, it's they're not too too bright, but they certainly they certainly don't warrant re chroming at all. You got your stop front headlamps and that's your custom rear grill, uh custom rear bumper. Um I'd say that I think that'd really lighten the load off that um off that chunky rear balance and give you give you that good o overall look on it. There you got your um bed rails, a couple of bed rails. I think I think that's quite a nice design because they've not just put some which uh, fit on the top of the, the quarter panels, I'm assuming they, they wrap round. Um Onto the back of the back of the quarter panel. You just got your other bits and pieces here and there, like you know, can't tell you exactly what every single one is, but like like I say, I should as always. I never pay attention to the and to, to the instructions. To be quite honest with you, but you know, the glass on this one's pretty much immaculate. Yeah, I mean, I kept. All these, they just go into to bags, to be quite fair. You know, as soon as I get them, all the clear parts are separated. Um, I mean, I've just taken these out. I don't usually take them out for unboxings, but because they're, they're quite big pieces, you know. And that's your, uh, the back of the uh, pickup panel. It's completely see-through on there. And you've got your... Your headlamp covers as well on this one, which again, you know, pretty I mean, they're all pretty much mint parts on this one, you know. Like I say, I think I looked out a little bit on it to be quite honest with you. Then just, I'm um, not taking these little red parts out, you know, they'll, they'll stay in the bag until it's built. So, um, got your tail lights and what I'd assume is a, a custom, a custom steering wheel, uh, in transparent red. And just your usual stuff here, your usual period AMT cross plies. I think one of White Walls is a bit worn on this. I should really find a. I've got plenty of others, so uh, while I've got it in my head, I'll probably find a, a nicer one to put in there, like just because it is such a nice kit. And yeah, just your, your screws and uh, your axles and what have you. But yeah, your chassis, quite a massive lump. Um, Pretty popular with your demo derby guys and what have you, just because the you'll see why. Um, you know the, the frames are just absolutely like tanks on these things. Everything's molded in as usual on a on an AMT sixties uh, kit, like you know. But it's really crisp detail underneath here, so you can easily pick all this stuff out. But yeah, I mean I think that yeah, that's some size is that thing and there's like say some girth to them frame rails and then you got your uh stock interior tub again really nicely engraved on this one as well um really nice thick detail to the to the interior door cards on this you know i do like it when they, they put a bit of depth into these door cards you don't see many from in the period where you know like that but i think we've had a look at a couple i think the joanne 
uh, Cadillacs all, always had really nice deep uh, detail in there. But yeah, again, just your standard standard interior. Um, and then comes to the body. Uh, like I say, these are the lines you scribe out for the, for the pickup version. A uh, really, really nice body is that, and that yeah, this is this is destined to be stock as this particular one. Um, yeah, the, it does slight, very slight bend in that in that uh, roof frame, but uh, the, the window frame, but nothing which will yeah, you, know, you 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 get your uh, you get your glass in there that'll straighten it out. So I wouldn't even try and heat that up or risk risk damaging it. You know, would be able to push that out with the with the uh, glass and what have you, but again, really nice. I mean, this kit is the more I'm looking at. It. I haven't had look at this kit for probably since I bought it and packaged it up. You know, it's it, when I back everything up, it does sort of deter me dipping into them and stealing parts out of them. And you know, that that's one of one of the reasons I do it. You know, the reason why I back everything up is just to keep everything safe and. You know, the, like I say, I've said a million times, you know, the tail lights when you, you don't find a tail light in, in in a kit, you know, that it can scupper the whole whole build, so but yeah, it's um I think that I think that'd make a really really, really nice kit will that so uh, we will build it, like I say, as soon as I find a, a, a another one we'll we'll get this one built and build and we'll probably build two at a time. Um, like I do with these ones, you know, it's uh, you know, if I'm if I'm starting something, I'd rather just get two done at the same time. That's again why I have so many stock versions of custom and custom versions of the of the same kit which I built because yeah, that's just how I do it. I'll keep the kit as mint as possible until that day comes, and then we'll get get them both built. But I mean that's pretty much it for for you know the contents of, of the sixty six, you know. It's not like saying not a heavily, heavily optioned kit, you know. Um But like I say, this is the the sixty six. And uh this was the original one which I was because this all has the pickup parts in as well, that's why I was kinda of looking for, for two two rough bodies, but um you know, I, I think actually this one's missing stuff like that. So uh, one of these, I think that's I think that's the only bit what's missing out of this kit. Um, but I thought I'd just show you. We'll we'll have a look at the, the box art, like, but like I said, they've, they've, we've already shown it. But I'll just pull out the the body and the one of the chrome trees. I mean, there are other little bits and pieces, uh, little bits of extras in this one related to this particular issue but like I say I mean that I don't want to unbox the whole thing you know just because I've, I've got to bag all this thing up again now um so we'll just take out take out the parts but you know some of like the body and what have you but you can pretty much see it, it's it's pretty much the same kit uh the but like I say I believe this one's the 66 and the reason like I said I, I got this and I, I Never liked the hero kit or anything like that. I mean, I, I like the fact that it's an imperial. It had potential to to use um, to use uh, to convert into the pickup. I mean, like I said, there are some differences. Obviously, the interior is different with it being a being a sixty six. And we'll do a full unboxing on this, but I just hope we'll we'll give it a, a, a good few months until we do that. Like I've got plenty of others, but. Yeah, once I got this one out, I knew it. I knew by reading about it and looking at looking at things online, the limited stuff online about it, that they had changed the uh, changed the door handles and they, they put like saddles on the door handles, and I think the same on the. I think they had put like you got like a. Sheriff's badge is going to be really hard to pick up. But yeah, you got your sheriff's badge on there, and and they put the saddle on the on the rear of it. But you know, it's pretty much a stock a stock um, stock sixty six kit. But and this was what stopped me going ahead and and doing that. And 
but the intricate detail i mean you can see the like tassels on this and i've never even noticed it before i actually bought the kit i've just noticed the 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 quirky stars and what have you the saddles which they put in the put into the air uh, onto the door handles but you know these are again if we can get it to actually focus these are all sort of individual tassels hanging off there i mean they look absolutely horrendous to be quite honest with you but yeah i just it'd break me out to to get a razor knife and razor knife all them off because they've survived so well there's a couple of ones which are, are missing and what have you but i do have any loose ones um loose bits in the box or in bagged up now just gain focus on that but yeah we're really struggling but but yeah i just couldn't be the one to to snap all them off so i'd, I'd, I'd be tempted with this one choose to pick up parts out of this and then on a builder and then just build this one as it as it was issued you know i mean like i say it's it's not a it's very limited taste and it isn't really my taste to be quite fair but yeah i'd, I'd be good to 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 be the one who cuts all that stuff off but yeah so i thought i'd show you that body and uh i'd try and pull the pull the grill out because i think that they had uh, altered the grill on this one as well. Again, I'm not taking it out of the bags, but yeah, they they did quite a bit of alteration on this front grill and what have you. And the same on the rear bumper, they added these uh, sheriff stars all all over everything. And you know, I think uh, yeah, you got your Marshall badge in there. And again, this is again from the same same collection, and so they all survived pretty well. I was just trying to figure out what what was replaced. Um, yeah, so it looks like you didn't get as many of the pickup parts in the hero in the hero uh, box. I was just seeing if anything. So I was just seeing what was missing. Well, how they've replaced that. So yeah, you haven't got the um, you haven't got the bed rails or anything in it. So between the two, yeah, I think they just moved some stuff around and moved some stuff off the, the smaller tree which this one doesn't particularly have or it might have in the bottom of the box somewhere but so yeah i think um i think if you were building the pickup version out of this one you'd probably be stuck with this grill um but again probably another reason why i, I would build this as the hero kit um yeah i can't imagine many have been built like the hero kit but i will saying that if people have bought them, then it looks like you've only got one option. But yeah, you, you've not got the moulded in uh, uh, license plate on this one. You just got the recess. But I just thought it was a thought it was a interesting one to have a look at. At the same time, it always fascinated me like this one with the intricacy around here. But like I say, it's just a just something else to add to the video and add to unfortunately your time of watching stuff so but yeah i mean i think like I say today was it was, i'm i'm just really up against it and i do i, I do want to keep to two videos a week um we're not we're not far off on the on the 63 galaxy build to be quite honest with you um 63 galaxy the, the 63 box art build it's a very little galaxy to be quite fair but yeah, I've got, like I say, I, I, I spent five hours yesterday painting and uh, foiling and then clear coating that, that body. So uh, that took me a hell of a lot more time than I thought. And I thought I'd, in the time I'd given myself, which I completely overlapped, I'd get the body foiled and some of the interior done and some of the paint, detail paint work on the chassis. But, you know, by the time I'd finished the foiling, I was completely burnt out on it, so... So I'm hoping to get that done for sort of Wednesday, but it might roll over. It's turning out to be such a nice kit, is that one? But I don't, I don't want to rush it just for the sake of meeting a Wednesday deadline. So, you know, if I can get it done, I'll get it done. But 
at the moment i'm helping a business out on tuesday and and thursday um and also like this this is my weekend i'll have to put a load of stuff on ebay as well um so on monday i, I think me, me weekend's pretty much run out now and monday is my last day to to get all that stuff on um so i'll say i can't i can't really see me getting everything done on wednesday to the point we're going to get a video out so it may be thursday or friday to be quite honest with you but it'll be it'll be a nice one um i'm, I'm really pleased with it i'm really pleased with the way it's turning out and hopefully you know once all parts are glued on it's gonna it's gonna be quite a stunning little model so but with that you know i'll shut my face i wish you whatever you're doing for the rest of the weekend um for the bank holiday you know it's uh you know i hope you enjoy whatever you're doing and we will see you in the next video okay see you bye